Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we'll study about chiasmata formation. Let's talk about the sequence which leads to the formation of chiasmata. First of all, during the zygotin stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1, pairing of homologous chromosomes called synapses, it starts. So, first of all, chiasmata occurs in meiosis and meiosis 1. We know that there are two stages of meiosis, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Chiasmata will occur in meiosis 1 and during the prophase 1 of meiosis 1. Now we know that prophase is further divided into different stages and in the zygotin stage of prophase 1 we can see that things are settling down so that chiasmata can take place. So now the synapsis has occurred. Synapsis mean that the pairing of homologous chromosomes. These are the homologous chromosomes which are aligned with each other side by side. This structure is known as bivalent or tetrad. Bivalent means that one and two bivalent and when we talk about tetrad it means one two, three, four. So they have four structures. That's why we are calling it tetrad. After the pairing or the synapses of chromosome, the chiasmata formation takes place. The chiasmata occur during the pectin stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1. Now what chiasmata is? Chiasmata is the point of contact which is a physical link between two known sister chromatids of paired homologous chromosomes. So we have two homologous chromosomes which are paired with each other. These chromatids are known sister chromatids while these two are sister chromatids. So chiasmata takes place between the known sister chromatids of two homologous chromosomes. And what actually chiasmata is, is a physical point or point of contact between the two known sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. It means that they are going to make a physical link with each other. At a given chiasma, an exchange of genetic material can occur between chromatids which is called as crossing over. Why chiasmata is taking place so that the genetic material between the non-system chromatids it can take place. So you can see that the part, the red part from this goes to the blue part and blue part goes to the red part and after that we can see that genetic material has been exchanged between the two known sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. The chiasmata become visible during the diplotin stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1. So this chiasmata it will keep the two homologous chromosomes in close contact with each other and during that the genetic material will exchange and it become visible during the diplotin phase when two chromosomes they will be moving towards the opposite poles so that was all about chiasmata formation if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video